Net News is sponsored by IBM Solutions for a Small Planet. In our news this week, Netscape, best known for its browser, has announced details and a delivery date for its new push technology. It's called Netcaster, and it'll be incorporated into Netscape's next version of its communicator browser package, due out next month. It will pipe internet info directly to communicator users from more than 20 online publishers. Among them, ABC News, CNN FN, Time Warner, and our own CNET. Rumors continue to proliferate about a potential takeover of ailing Apple Computer by Oracle Chief Executive Larry Ellison. Ellison's lined up investment partners and is now reportedly hunting down new executives to manage Apple. He says the company could be a great supplier of network computers. Apple Chief Gil Emilio maintains the company is still not for sale. A precedent-setting Internet case is playing out in German courts involving online provider CompuServe. The managing director of CompuServe Germany has been indicted for aiding in the distribution of child pornography. German prosecutors want to hold the man responsible for not censoring the Internet's lewd offerings from the German public. CompuServe calls the accusations groundless. Back in the U.S., online provider the Microsoft Network is having troubles of its own, trying to handle its email volume. MSN was forced to double its number of email servers last week to handle the volume. Subsequently, members' mail went undelivered for about three days. No mail was lost. Microsoft did have some heartening news last week. The company had an unexpected 80% jump in quarterly profits. Microsoft's latest acquisition, Web TV, is taking its first round of price cuts. Licensed Web TV manufacturers Sony and Philips are dropping the price tags by 15 to 25 percent since Web TV sales are falling way short of expectations. Store prices will go down from 300 bucks to about 250. Microsoft co-founder and industry mega investor Paul Allen now has his own personal website. The bearded multi-billionaire has shunned publicity until now. Allen's opened his private life to the cyber public, revealing his business strategy, hobbies, and favorite websites. You can even email him your own thoughts. Allen is an investor in 45 companies, including CNET. He's the country's third richest person. Remember, if you want to stay abreast of tech news as it happens, bookmark and visit news.com. It's updated many times daily with everything you need to know about the world of computers. Thanks, Richard. Now, we all know how rapidly things change in this digital world, so each week we answer your most frequently asked questions or facts. And here to cut through the jargon is our own Sophie Formica. Thank you very much, Gina. Well, if you own a computer, you know how valuable space on your hard drive is. That's the area of your computer that stalls all the files, and that space is always limited. That's the topic of this week's fact file question from Matthew Taylor. He writes, I'm running out of storage space on my hard drive. What can I do? Well, Matthew, there are several things you can do. For starters, copy the files that you don't use every day onto a floppy disk and then delete them from your hard drive. This will free up some of your storage space. And it's a good idea to have copies of all your files anyway, just in case your computer crashes and it does happen. Another alternative is to buy an external hard drive, which is a small hard drive that connects to your computer on the outside rather than the inside. A zip drive is one of the most popular storage options. It's easy to use and costs about $150. Another more expensive option is to buy a larger internal hard drive to replace the old one. Or if you're using a really old machine, it just may be time to get a new computer. If you're confused about any of the terms or technologies that are featured here on CNET Central, we want to help. So send your question to the fact file at CNET.com or through regular or snail mail to the fact file, 150 Chestnut Street, San Francisco. Francisco, California 94111. And if you'd like to know more about what to do if you run out of hard drive space, head on over to CNET.com. You'll also find those fact file addresses and each week's question and answer. Stay with us just ahead. Help detectives solve mysteries using the World Wide Web. And a new CD-ROM takes us back to the wild, wild west.